recently launched their all digital bank offering in the Philippines. At GCash, our purpose is to enable the aspirations of the financially underserved. And our digital wallet enables everyday payments, starting from topping up your prepaid mobile phone as a Globe subsidiary, but going very quickly to making bill payments, transferring money to anyone, whether in GCash or in your bank account, moving to lifestyle payments, scanning QR codes at merchants, going online with Lazada, even booking your movie tickets. But what we're doing today goes beyond that. We are a consumption-driven economy. We live from payroll to payroll. Here's the opportunity for us as we embed ourselves in the daily lives of Filipinos to go beyond consumption to savings. Because that's important for overall prosperity in the country. If you think about why we don't save, in my mind, there are a few reasons. One, it's not easy, because typically there are requirements, including a minimum balance. To open an account requires documents. And then the return isn't really adequate. So what we figured was, in partnership with CIMB, we could bring something to Filipinos that would make it really easy to open an account remotely, go through our EKYC, which is important as a financial institution that we identify our customers, but we do it in a very seamless way. We do it with a facial recognition tool, it matches to an ID, we haven't yet rolled out the national ID at scale, but it matches to many of the common IDs. It actually pre-populates information from your ID into the form, you make a few edits, and you're up and running. And you don't need a minimum balance. For every peso that you put in there, you get the highest savings rate in the country. We feel that if we make it easy, and we make it rewarding, customers will save, and Filipinos will see their wealth grow. Finally, I want to come back to the note of partnership. I think this is a perfect example of where a bank and a fintech company can collaborate to solve a larger problem. Ultimately, we aren't competing because the gap in the Philippines is acute, 34.5%. So it's only a little over a third of Filipinos actually have a bank account. A fraction of that has access to formal credit. And very few are actually growing wealth with savings and investments. That's where collaboration between entities such as ourselves can really help solve a problem. And that's why we're really happy to talk about milestones here, not in the context of achievement of our own institutions, but more in the context of solving a large problem for the Philippines. So with that, I want to thank the teams on both sides, and thank all of you for coming here to witness what is a promising milestone, but only the tip of the iceberg in terms of what we can do for the Philippines. Thank you.